For the stem, you're going to make a magic ring and then chain one and put five single crochets in here. Um, and if you kind of have a, you know, a knack for crocheting already, um, we're going to be doing this for seven rows. So you're just going to have seven rows of five single crochets. But if not, I will walk you through it. So this is five. Now you can pull the little string to tighten it. And then you're going to go into that first single crochet with a slip stitch and then a chain one. You're going to kind of try and like flip it inside out so that the prettier side is on the outside. And now you're going to go into your next stitch with a chain, I mean sorry, a single crochet. And just do this all the way around until you have your total of five. So it's two, three, four, and five. That's good. Now you're going to find that first single crochet, which is this one. This is the chain one. And you're going to go into that first single crochet with a slip stitch. And you're done with row two. And we're on a total of seven. So you're just going to keep doing this. Chain one, and then a single crochet in that first stitch. And then single crochets all around. So yeah, go ahead and finish this until you have a total of seven rows. Okay, so I finished the stem and to end, um, you want to make the like thread kind of long because we're going to use it to sew the stem onto the hat. So, um, I don't know, maybe like a foot or something is fine. Let's cut it. Okay. For the leaves, we're going to do a chain of 12. You're going to skip the first stitch, go into the second one with a slip stitch. Next stitch is a single crochet, then another single crochet in the next one. Then you're going to do a half double crochet. And then two half double crochets in the next one. A double crochet in the next one two double crochets in the next one, and then two triple crochets in this next one, and then a double crochet. a half double crochet, and a single crochet. So that's one side of the leaf. We'll go ahead and start working on the other one. Um, but we're going to do a chain one, and then we're going to start working down this side. So your first stitch is going to go in here, so a single crochet. Next, a half double crochet. Next, double crochet. Next, two triple crochets. Next, two double crochets. Next, one double crochet. Next, two half double crochets. Next, one half double crochet. And then a single crochet. Another single crochet. And I'm just going to do a little slip stitch at the tip. 
So the leaf should look like that. And then you're going to leave the tail kind of long. And you're gonna make five of these. Leave the tail kind of long so that way we can sew it into the hat. Oopsies. So yeah, leave the tail long so we can sew it onto the hat. I'm just gonna cut that. And yeah, go ahead and make five of these. So four more, this was one. We're gonna begin with a magic ring. And inside the magic ring, you're going to chain three and place 13 double crochets. So that is 13 double crochets. Um, you can just kind of count them. Um, but this over here, that's the chain three. So one, two, three. Um, yes, yeah, so that's 13. Now I'm going to go into the first double crochet. So not the chain three. I'm sorry, this was the third chain of the chain three. So this is the first double crochet. So I'll go in there. Pull through. And then um, you can find that little tail from the back of the magic ring and tighten. Sometimes you have to pull kind of hard, um, but yeah. Okay, for row two, you're going to chain three. Um, but for me, instead of doing a chain three, I have a different method um, that makes it look smoother. And what I do is I just go inside the first stitch there, pull through, and I have two loops. And I'll make a single crochet with those two loops. So, yeah, this loop in the back and a loop in the front. Go into the front loop. Grab some yarn. And then you have two loops again. And you pull through. And this is the height of a double crochet. And this will just make it look a little smoother. Um, but if you want to do a chain three, that's fine too. So this counts as a double crochet because it's kind of thick. And you're going to put an increase in every stitch. And an increase is just two double crochets. So this is one double crochet. Um, and this is the other. So you'll have a total of 26 double crochets for this row. So I put in my last increase. And now um, we're going to do the same thing where we go into the first stitch. And for me that first stitch was that like weird double crochet thing. So I'm going to put it... There's, you can see one stitch there, and then a second stitch right here. I'm going to go into that second one with a slip stitch. Now for row three, we're going to do an increase in every other stitch, starting off with an increase. So I'm going to start the same way, put my hook in, grab my yarn, pull through both, then go under the second loop, and pull through both. So the first stitch is an increase, and then we just put one double crochet in the next. And you're going to continue this pattern, and you should have a total of 39 stitches. So this will be an increase, and then the next one is just one double crochet, like that. Okay, so I finished row three for row four. I'm going to go into that second stitch again. And for this row, we'll do an increase and then two um, normal stitches. So I'm going to go into that first stitch. It's one of those weird little double crochets. I'm going to put two in here. So we have one and two. Next stitch gets one double crochet and the next stitch gets one. And you're going to continue this pattern all the way around. So an increase in this stitch, like so. And then a double crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, so this was row four. I'm gonna end with a slip stitch in that little second stitch. And start my next row, the little funky beginning.
And in row five, you're going to put um, an increase in every fourth stitch. So um, this counts as one double crochet. I'm going to put another double crochet in that stitch. There's one increase, and we'll do three regular double crochets, one in each stitch. And you're going to continue this pattern all the way around. So increase, and then one, two, three singles. Yeah. And then just go ahead and finish this row like that. Okay, so this was row five. I'm gonna end it the same way. And then our next row is gonna be the last row of decreases. If you kind of get a hang of what we're doing, it's gonna be um, an increase in every 13th stitch. So I'll show you what that looks like. So here's one double crochet. So here's my increase. And then I'm gonna do 12, just normal one double crochet in each stitch. So 12 of them. Um, and this is just to make sure that like the edge of the hat isn't like really like pointy, um, so it kind of like tapers down, I guess. That's 12. So now I'm going to put an increase in the next stitch, which is the 13th stitch, right? So 12, well we did an increase, then 12, and another increase in this, and the 13th one. And you're just going to do this all the way around. Um, you should have a total of like five increases. They should be like kind of evenly spaced. Um, and as long as you kind of have five increases, it's fine. So yeah, and then after this, um, we, you can just continue um, with just no increases, just one double crochet in each stitch until you get a total of 14 rows um, or however long you want your hat to be. Okay, so I finished the, this row, which is the last row of increases. Um, and as I said before, now it's a little easier, you're just gonna put um, one double crochet in each stitch. So this is gonna be building like the walls of the hat. You just go around um, and you're gonna do this for a total of 14 rows. So right now, I think we have, this is row seven and you're gonna do it for a total of 14. And then after you finish that, we can go ahead and make like the little rim of the hat and then we'll add on um, the leaves and the stem and put on the seeds. So yeah, just go ahead and build up like the walls of your hat and I will see you when I'm done. Okay, so I finished my hat. Um, we're gonna start doing the rim now. So I'm gonna do a slip stitch. And for this row, you're gonna do an increase in every other stitch. So we're gonna do an increase. There's gonna be two double crochets, starting off again with that weird double crochet. That's an increase. Then a normal double crochet. And you're going to do this all the way around, increase and a normal double crochet. Okay, so the first row of the rim is done. We have one last row, and then we'll be done with the body. Um, and this is going to be four increases, and then one um, double crochet and one stitch. So, this is an increase. One increase, and I'll do three more, total of four. And then one normal double crochet. And you're gonna continue that all the way around um, until you're done, and then you can just slip stitch it off and cut your yarn and you'll be done. And we'll add the stem and the seeds. Okay, so I finished um, the rim. Now we'll go ahead and add on the stem first. And really you're just um, gonna be using like a whipping stitch to put the stem on, if you know what that is. Um, if not, I'll show you. But this time I'm just gonna kind of go on like the center at the top there. Um, I'm just going to stick my needle down between these stitches that the stem kind of goes on. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna stick your needle back up through the hat and I'm just gonna poke it through like that center hole where from the magic ring we did. And then I'm also going to catch um, one of the stitches from there. And you're just going to do this all the way around until the stem is secure. And you're going to do um, a similar thing for the leaves. So if you um, kind of got the hang of it, you can just go ahead and do that yourself. Uh, but I'll also just show you how I do it. Okay, so the stem is on and to tie it off, you're going to go the inside of the hat um, 
And you're just going to kind of sneak your needle under one of those green stitches. And wrap it around and pull it through that little loop to form a little knot. And just to make it extra secure, you can make another knot. Okay, and then you can just kind of weave this end in and cut it. For the leaves, I kind of like to have the tips of the leaf not sewn on, so they're kind of lifted up. So what you're going to do with every leaf, you're just going to kind of take the, the end of the yarn and just kind of like weave it up a little. Um, so that way we're starting like sewing from like here or something. Okay, and for sewing the leaves on, I like to use um, a back stitch, and I'll show you how we do that. And it doesn't quite matter where you put the leaves, just make sure they're like evenly spaced. Um, so I guess the first one doesn't quite matter, but after that, you know, you're going to want to make sure they're evenly spaced. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and stick my needle, um, I think... Maybe in like this space, it doesn't really matter. Um, there. That looks okay. And I'm gonna do a back stitch. So um, I'm going to go up. And right now um, I'm kind of at like this stitch right here. That's kind of where the string is coming out from. I'm gonna skip this stitch next to it and come up in that third stitch. So I'm going to stick my needle, go up the third stitch. Like that. And then I'm going to go backwards into that second stitch. This was first, second, and we just came up from the third. Now you go down into the second one. And now, um, the second one is now like the first one. Um, so you're going to, we just went down into this one. So we'll skip this one, come up this one. And then we'll go back into the one behind it. And you're just going to continue this all the way around um, until you get to around the same side of um, like the other side of the leaf. Okay, so I finished sewing to this side. And last thing, um, there's kind of like a little hole there because you didn't sew there. You just kind of do um, like a stitch to just to make sure that little hole is gone. Um, and then after that, you can just tie it off like we did with the stem and then sew on the other four leaves. Um, and there's really no like method, I guess, to like the spacing. Um, just kind of make sure they're evenly spaced. I've made them before where they're not evenly spaced and they, you know, they look fine anyway. So it doesn't like quite matter. Um, but you can kind of like lay them out and plan it ahead um, as well. Okay. Okay, so the stem is done. Now we'll go ahead and sew on the seeds. So just grab like um, a couple feet of white yarn. And a sewing needle. And we're going to start um, in the fourth row from the bottom. So this row right here, you can start from anywhere. You're just going to, oops, you're going to pull your yarn through the bottom hole of a double crochet, and we're going to just make a, um, a big stitch around this double crochet, and I'll show you what I mean. I pulled it up, and now I'm going to go back down in the top. So the white yarn will kind of like cover this whole double crochet. 
And I'm just going to do it one more time so that um, it's just a little thicker. And you're going to do a pattern of putting a seed every five spaces and then every six spaces. So this is my first seed. Then I'm going to go behind and just tie a knot with these two ends. And then I'm going to count five spaces. So one, two, three, four, five. And I'll put a seed in that sixth stitch. And then for my next seed, um, I'll count six spaces. So this is five spaces. Next one will be six spaces away. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'll put one there. And you're just gonna continue this pattern all the way around. If um, you run out of white yarn, like it's you know, just too short, you can just tie another piece of it, another piece of white yarn to it, and that should be fine. Um, and when you're done doing this row, you can start on the next row. And the rows are gonna be two rows apart. So we'll do a row here, skip two rows, a row here, skip two rows, and then a row here. And then um, optionally, you can also put like little seats up in this row um, just to make sure it doesn't look like empty, but that's kind of optional. Okay, so I finished the hat um, and this is just, you can see the rows, as you can tell, they're all two um, rows apart. And I put, just put some seeds um, between the leaves. There was like a space between it and I think it just helps it make a little fuller. Um, so yeah, hope you found this video helpful.